Coming up next, a 150 pound catch weight bout. Let's first welcome to the cage, out of the blue corner, Christian Emes Quirita. Making his way out here again. I uh, don't have a record for him. I'm assuming it's a debut, but I uh, I did not uh, I did not look so smart last time I did that. Christian Amos Kita out of the UFC gym as well. 150 pound catch weight. Again, I'm a fan. The more weights you got, the more more fights you can make. No point in um, having somebody say they can't make a weight or it was too hard of a weight cut. Make it happen, Captain. Mix them up, line them up correctly. Um, I believe that the last minute scrub on the cage there. A lot of bad things happen to you in a fight, but slipping in a puddle of uh, up chuck would be for sure the worst. And there he is. There's Mr. Almasquita making his way out here now. <clears throat> Looking like Miguel Torres, kind of. Haircut and uh, and body style. Padrino looking to get the shirt off over the gloves. I need to cut the sleeves a little bit in the future. Christian. I'm just not wasting any time. Ready to get greased up, ready to get out there and get it done. Shredded, man. Shredded at 150 pounds. I tell you, it's a weird experience to have Chuck Ison by yelling at you while he's putting grease on your face. Um, but uh, zen-like and calming in a way for some strange reason. You see Padrino examining the gloves here, making sure there's no uh, no bricks in there, any plaster of Paris, anything like that. Um, oh, thanks for the house. Christian Amosquita brought all of his friends. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Bouncing around, doing the bull dance, feeling. And now we welcome to the cage fighter number two out of the red corner, Nick Thomas. Nick Thomas out of the Florida Kickboxing Academy. Also making his way out here now, so he's gonna he's gonna be in there with some of uh, the very best in the business in the South Florida area. Asa Tim Pow to be named there. Going to see Jason Samchoy, and holding the camera back there is. Ali Abs, who if you don't know the name, write it down, Google it, look it up. Definitely, definitely, definitely one of the hottest young prospects in the kickboxing world. I'd be as far as to say in the country, uh, I might be a bit biased. I have been impressed by very few people as much as I have been by Ali Abs at 18 or 19 years of age. Uh, but that is what happens when you're a product of a room like that. When you put a wrestler in a room with nobody but state champions, they become a state champion. When you put a kickboxer in a room with nobody but the highest level champions, he will rise to the occasion and become a highest level champion. And that is exactly what Nick Thomas is looking to do here tonight. Um, put together pretty well, looking to be a, a, a tank. Yeah, they're going to check and make sure he's got a cup on, huh? Um, <laughs> lesson learned, tying the uh, drawstring tight there. By the way, um, Love, 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 if you're watching back, Nick Thomas, never, ever change your theme music somewhere New Jack is saying, love it. Um, a natural born killer indeed. If that's not his nickname as of this exact second, it is as of this exact second. NBK Nick Turner. I'm sorry, Nick Thomas. I'm thinking of the Wrangler Nick Turner. Shout out to my cowboy brother, um, Nick Thomas. Mouthpiece in, Padrino telling him to get in there and get it done. Nice little crowd here, so we're going to come alive tonight. Big response for both fighters tonight. I'm looking very forward to this here. Crowd's been kind of sitting on their hands this evening. Looking forward to hearing them come unglued. Nick Thomas, there we see Nick Thomas sealing the cage. Traditional Muay Thai stuff there that you see again. Jason Santoy in the corner from the old school. Not, not Muay loud boys. Asa Tempau. Uh, a Muay Thai uh, aficionado himself. And then we see the beautiful Chelsea Love letting everybody know it's round number one. Now, Blake Chadwick, let's get this party popping, buddy.
the following bout is brought to you by Narrowgate Security Agency. It is a 150 pound catch weight kickboxing bout set with three two minute rounds of action. Introducing first, Freddy in the blue corner. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 149 pounds. He's making his amateur kickboxing debut in fighting out of UFC gym in Pembroke Pines, Florida. He is Christian Shido Amiskita. And his opponent fighting out of the right corner. He stands at five feet, 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 149 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur kickboxing record of one win and zero losses in fighting out of the Florida Kickboxing Academy in West Palm Beach, Florida. He's Nick Thomas. Chino, Christian Amasquito. The free sign of this fight, Uri Ramos. New NBK, Nick Thomas. Now, no offense, of course, to um, Vic Dixit, who I also have called the new NBK. But uh, you gotta change, your, gotta change your themes, my friend. Ray Ramos giving the last second instructions. Separates him here. I'm being joined again by Blake Chappell. Looking great, Blake. Great night of fights thus far here in Gulfstream and a couple of experienced amateur kickboxers, even though one is 1-0, one in his debut. Mm. Both have been fighting for a long time in their camps. Indeed they have. And we see a lot of pushing there from Nick Thomas, um, who I accidentally called Nick Turner earlier, but shout out to the Wrangler, brother. No wrangling here, but again, Ooh, good the combat kick. sports background, so of course you can certainly see it apply as Nick Thomas making... Some impact right here. Only a second fight again coming from Jason Samchai and, of course, the Florida Kickboxing Academy. Oh, good right hand there as well. Asa Tenpao, a lot of great kickboxers there. Nice, nice low jabs. jabs Academy. For, yeah, nice low jabs as well from Amiskita from Chino here. Throwing some good low jabs, a little stance switch there. Amiskita, of course, does have that height advantage. Looking to exploit it possibly in this one. Yeah. Oh, nice little, uh, nice combination there, working his way in there. I'd like to see it. Like to see him just going to get a little more work on the inside. Try to slip that left through, but Nick Thomas doing a nice job to put up the gloves. Good frame for distance there from Thomas. I like that head kick. Nothing landed. Oh, not just contact out. Oh, and Thomas, he goes down, but yeah, there's no contact there. Foot brushes eye, but it not. And, and it does just enough, as we've got a standing eight here. Yeah, he took a knee to stop it. Uh, either got him in the arm, not just contact out one or the other. And Ray Ramos will keep this fight going. Really? Nope, he'll stop it again. And now he's going to put Amiskita in the neutral corner there. And looks like Thomas will be evaluated. Want to get a doctor to come look at it? Yeah, I mean, it's a freak thing. We have seen it happen before. That would not be the first time we've seen. We're going to run it back now, take a look at it. But Tony catches an eye. That's no good. And you can see, it almost it moves around, and then it gets into a position where that mm -hmm. contact affects the vision of Thomas. Yeah, toenail to the eye. It doesn't look to be bad. I've, I've seen eyes bleed from that. Um, so Just has to hit that right spot. Thank goodness that Thomas is not having something like that. I mean, an eye poke, still an eye poke, whether it's a toe or a finger or a chin or whatever it may be. But luck, luckily, we don't see any uh, visible uh, damage or laceration there. Certainly. Hoping this fight can continue as we're just scratching the surface here in fight number three of the night. Yes, we are. As a part of our kickboxing undercard. Nick Thomas does properly identify the number of fingers. So uh, the vision not too badly affected here. Just maybe taking a second to kind of blink it out. And it looks like he's going to be able to continue. Certainly the news we were hoping for. Absolutely. As well as this crowd that continues to fill in. Must have been laying some bets, brother. Back, are back in action. Beautiful sport of King's room here in Gulfstream Park. Oh, hey. this is not MMA. That's a triangle, flying triangle. <laughs> that, is, that is Nick Turner. It looked like he was trying to tie up MS Keita indeed. But again, this is not mixed martial arts. We're sticking with our kickboxing here. Goes for the flying knee right there. Yep. As Thomas and MS Keita tied up yet again. Well, Amos Keita doing a good job of wrapping uh, Thomas up on the inside the last couple of exchanges to keep the Thomas. First, oh, good job. the first 90 seconds here, Blake Bowman, Ooh. looking very even. Good slip and rip from Thomas. Amos Keita takes a couple of big shots with the right and the left, unable to connect. A little early on the 10 second clicker there, actually. Not, not a proper stop the, stop the top. Ooh, knee to the head almost. And Amos Keita looks like he caught Nick Thomas possibly in the chin. Let's check nah. out our replay right grazes there. Lip. He grazed his lip. It didn't land, but it was still. It's, uh, 
If, if it touched him at all, it's a foul. There's a good exchange. A lot of intensity there in round number one. Yeah, a lot of good feeling out, a lot of good feints. Boom, good leg kick there from Thomas. Certainly some shots connecting from both fighters. Not a lot of damage done. Oh, good right hand, at least on purpose. <laughs> For sure. Right hand down low, tape to the body, answered very well by Thomas. As the intensity of Thomas mixing up oh, the combinations that was right it. there. Yeah, just, just, bright, just, just wiped him. Wiped him with the toes. And that was just all that MS Keita needed to affect the vision there of Thomas. There's that takedown. Yeah. And almost that flying triangle right there as you potentially could see these guys. Good leg kick. Having some success at the MMA level. Good crash and bang there. We saw the knee there. Again, in amateur kickboxing, you can only strike with a padded weapon to the head. So it must be a glove or a shin, no knees to the head, no elbows or forearms to the head in amateur kickboxing here in Florida. So as we're right in the thick of fight number three of 10 on the evening, moving our way through our kickboxing undercard, still a lot of great action still to come in various disciplines, as Nick Thomas and Christian Amesquita mm. begin round number two. Some good leg kicks there from Thomas to open up early. Those Way outside big, on that right that hand. big overhand right. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, beautiful job catching uh, Amesquita while he's off balance and on that inside, leg kick. Inside kick indeed, as Thomas here starting to feel it. Yeah, well, good jab there from Amesquita. And look how focused Thomas is staying, continuing to move forward as yeah. Amesquita trying a combination right nice here to get back there. into it. Oh man, Th Thomas went for the leg sweep, but the leg wasn't there. And Amesquita doing a nice job to lengthen out right there and stay vertical. Yeah, and a good job of landing a good combination in the meantime, between time, nice leg kick as well from uh, Amesquita. Yeah, High kick just ain't landing for him though. Fake low, went high, unsuccessful. Tied up yet again as Ray Ramos will break him up about halfway into this round. Back on the stalk now, doing a good job of pressuring is Thomas. Good roll and answer there from Thomas. Well, good body kick as well. A lot of work downstairs, putting water in the basement. Good straight punch down the pipe from Amesquita. Thomas taking a couple shots, finally gets that sweep. He's been looking for it all round. It's all right, all that matters is when you hit it, not when you miss it. Good jab from Amesquita. As Thomas taking some punishment here for Amesquita. Yep. Yeah, if Amesquita's able to able to time a right hand off one of those one of those naked leg kicks from Thomas, he may he may be able to do some damage with it. As Thomas here starting to shift his focus more to the knees and the kicks. Yeah. Puts his head down, nearly caught one right on the top. Good left hand Thomas. from Amesquita, yeah. Yeah, good, good, as, good left hand. Better jab. As Amesquita right looks like he just snuck a right in between the gloves of Thomas right there. Yeah, went for a trip of his own, but he didn't have it. A little Soda Gari threat. And you can see possibly the fatigue setting in right now. Amesquita and Thomas Ooh, good back and forth right here. Look at that series there, good pressure of shots there. right there. What a combination by Amesquita. Good rally. As we head to the end of round number two. Indeed, Blake Bowman, what a combination to leave fresh in the judges' minds. Yeah, good rally. May have stolen the round. And if nothing else, if Thomas is thinking, oh, that round's over, I'm going to take a breath, just score on him and leave it, right? Going into, I always talk about halftime, right? Going into halftime, leave that impression that I was scoring on you at the end of the round going to make Thomas a little bit more desperate, a little more tired at the beginning of the third round. So as Amosquita and Thomas, both have certainly done enough to earn some oh. points from the judges throughout the first four minutes yeah. of action here. But Blake Bowman, what do you see here as we head into round number three? What does each fighter need to do to possibly get the W? During the first round, I called for Amosquita to do a little bit more work once he was uh, on, on the inside, and he's done that uh, very well. Now uh, the, the leg kicks and the body shots are uh, for Nick Thomas are also landing very well. If I'm Amosquita's corner, I'm saying just go hard. I think that Thomas might uh, need to catch his breath here. Uh, he may want to tie him up and uh, put him on the cage. Thomas may want to tie up uh, Amosquita, put him on the cage and work on the inside there. But if I'm Amosquita's corner, I'm saying I'm saying press it, Chino, press the gas. Christian Amosquita has to be oozing with confidence or oozing with Amosquita mm. as we're uh, heading into round number three. Certainly the way he finished round number two as he's trying to keep Thomas Whoa. on his heels right here as Amosquita looking to push forward, but Thomas doing some damage of his own. Man, that's twice now. Thomas has timed the leg kick very, very well. Boom. So, you know, I take back what I said. Good right hand from Amosquita that Thomas did not even register. As Thomas trying to find the left hand here. There we go. I was going to say Thomas may not be tired, but this also might be 30 seconds. Let's see what happens now. They're separate. Take a deep breath. Try now let's see how much smoke he's got. Trying to do some work in the clinch for the first 30 seconds of round number three. Under 90 to go here in this fight as Amosquita continuing to stay active. Yeah, some good boxing from Amosquita here. Good uppercut there. Now he's going to pour it on. 
right there. Got to score the whole time. Score as long as he'll let you. As Christian Amiskita, the output of his shots, almost doubling Thomas at this point. I would think so. Good right hand. As Thomas. Good spin by Thomas. Good right oh, hand. Just yeah. got a rock potentially right there. Yep. High head kick. And yep. Amiskita really picks yep. up the offense here in the final minute. 60 seconds. Amiskita presses the gas. He'll win the fight. As he's got Thomas against the cage right here. Thomas's mouth open, hands out, looking to his corner, asking how much longer do I got? Ray Ramos breaks him up here, 45 seconds to go. Both fighters oh, looking to put yeah. their foot on the gas plate. Yeah, and now uh, Amoskitas can finish him here. Thomas, look, Thomas looked to the corner to ask how long how much time was left. A minute's too long to be that tired. The Amoskita section starting to rise as yep. Thomas try anything he can. Yeah, Amoskita coming forward though, looking to keep Thomas, I mean, uh, Thomas coming forward looking to keep Amosquita backing up to stop that offensive onslaught. Ray Ramos breaks him up again here. 20 seconds to go in the final output from both fighters now. Wow. As the shot from Amosquita, the momentum takes him down to the canvas. Yeah. What we call the big whiff on. As here we go, one final attempt. Jump and switch kick there. Thomas caught his breath, had a nice little uh, shot as there. As both fighters end. do appear to be gassed as we're heading here for that final bell. And Thomas. Yeah. I don't think he got all of it, but does connect there with that spinning back fist as we head to the final seconds. A lot of Blake output. Bowman certainly thus far the fight of the night. Oh, absolutely, a lot of output there, and they're following a spinning back kick to the liver, by the way. So there we see, uh, there we see Amosquita trying to go two more rounds there. Uh, man, what a wonderfully timed leg kick attack. That's twice that it, Thomas set Amosquita down with that. Both fighters, an incredible showing right here. Now leaving all the judges' hands as we shall see how this one unfolds. Oh, good work on the inside from Amosquita like that. I, I made a comment on looks alone comparing him to Miguel Torres, but Miguel Torres would certainly be proud to be compared to somebody with that kind of output, especially in the third round there. A head kick, boom, boom, and he's got a couple times Amosquita froze up um, Nick Thomas and just uh, poured it on, but Nick Thomas was just, uh, he was tired, not hurt. He, uh, he took his time, caught his breath, recovered very well, recovered very quickly and went back on the offensive uh, every time. Beautiful, beautiful representation of uh, both camps for sure, both um, the UFC gym as well as the Florida Kickboxing Academy. Uh, I don't know, I, for whatever reason, I feel like Atmos Keita may have edged that one out, but it might be because of the volume of the third round. I wasn't keeping score. Um, I'm just filling time until judges figure it out. They don't know tabulate and the tens and nines get everything figured out here beautiful show of respect and <coughs> excuse me and sportsmanship there post fight uh, between these two uh these two offensive outputters I believe that mr chadwick has the official decision right now the other blake as i like to call him blake i'm curious people at home are curious who actually won this fight i want to know i gotta know tell me Fight fans, after three hard fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scores. Judge number one ruled this fight 29-27 in favor of the blue corner. Judge number two ruled this fight 29-28 in favor of the red corner. And judge number three ruled this fight 29-28. Your winner by split decision out of the blue corner, Christian Cheeto. Kita! 29-27, so someone got a 9-9 round out of that somehow. Either way, congratulations.